Welcome back to the Heimdall Live Demo Series. This video will focus on the Analytics tab. As we have multiple applications managed by this Heimdall Manager, we will start by selecting the Virtual Database of Magento and selecting the Analyze button. In a moment, the results table will be displayed. Each row has several fields that provide the SQL pattern of the query, as well as the various statistics about the query. The query pattern itself has been normalized to remove the patterns, allowing a better understanding of the overall query behaviors. By default, the rows are sorted by the server time, which is the percent of the time waiting on the database spent waiting for on this particular query pattern. In general, for interactive applications, unless a query pattern is register registering more than a few percentage points of server time, it is not worth focusing on optimizing. The next column is the cache hit percent, which reflects the impact of Heimdall caching as configured in the rules tab. Next is the query count. Following, the query response time is effectively the time to the first byte for the query, while the result set retrieval time is the amount it took until the result set was closed. A large delta between these two times can indicate that the application itself is taking a long time to process the result. The average result size is an estimated size in bytes of the result returned by the database. If the value is small, few rows were returned, or only a small amount of data was returned. A large value in the megabyte range indicates that a very large number of rows were returned and the query is a good candidate for optimizing. Finally, the transaction percent indicates what percentage of the queries fitting the pattern were in a transactional context. A value of zero means that caching of the queries may provide a good result, while other values up to 100% indicate that caching may be risky or have poor results. Most columns can be sorted in order to provide a different perspective on the queries, such as to sort by query response time, or average result size. Finally, each query pattern may have query plans available for viewing if configured in the rules. If available, the most recent query plan will be displayed by hovering the mouse over the query pattern and a complete view of the query stats and plans extracted can be displayed in another window by clicking on the pop out button in the upper right hand corner. This display is convenient to provide to developers as it provides much of the information they will need to understand performance and production environments for optimizing the queries without access to the database itself. Additionally, a read-only management console login can be provided to developers to allow them access to the analytics tab without accessing the production database as well. This allows them to understand application performance without risking the security of the database. This concludes our video on the analytics tab.